welcome back to another episode of Tales from the Pedal Cabinet on Anderton's ah, TV. Yay. Uh, please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of these silly videos yes. because these are silly. Yes, Pete and I are on our 17th already. video of the day. Um, <laughs> I've drunk enough coffee to swim a full of, I can't even speak. Swim. Fill, a, fill a swimming pool. And this particular episode, we're going to look at some drive pedals. So uh, Tales from the Pedal Cabinet is um, for those, uh, it's all those sort of slightly forgotten pedals that perhaps in their own right, we don't do a big sort of video expose on uh, them. Yeah, I wouldn't but say forgotten. We just see just it. Say... We're just like, oh, look, there's a Q boost. Oh, yeah. look. Yeah, let's pick that in there. Let's yeah. pick that there. And then let's put, put so it all together. There's no, you know, the only thing that these pedals have in common is that we haven't done a video on them yeah. before. Stone Diff FX. Um, if yeah. I remember rightly, the chap that owns that is a chap called Luke, and he's mm. based up in Manchester, and he's mm. sort of um, uh, been making amps and pedals for a, for a few years. Um, and yeah. I got there's some reason or other. I think he took a little sabbatical for a while, and now he's back. Uh, and the Q Boost is a nice and simple um, preamp boost with a additional sort of frequency boost side to it. Yeah, um, a vintage and a modern. Selection setting. Selection. Um, and Selection. it runs on a nine volt power supply, and it does pretty much what you heard us doing in the opening jam. It's got a different look from the old pedals, hasn't it? It's got a little much bit smaller, more, more smaller. Uh, maybe a bit less. Uh, what do you use like cartoony sort of graphics on them? Yeah, maybe, but, but that's still cool. It's got it's this little. Cool. It's like something spilt from this side there. It's yes, yeah. some orange juice spilt on it. In, in that way, anyway. <laughs> in, who spills that way? You spill it that way. <laughs> it's like me going like. Hey! <laughs> anyway, here's a clean tone. <laughs> Into the and here the is a low gain vintage sound. Low not gain? That, not that low. It's nice. It's not it's low a... gain. There's a lot of volume coming here. Uh, a We're going to check. Oh, yeah, Sound check. man's going to check the levels. Hang on. Oh, goodness me. Woo. Wow. Oh. Wow. Flipping over to the modern version Flip of that. Alright. That makes no sense. Like the modern is just like a less gainy version of vintage. Yes, Aren't we that more is... gainy in modern times than no, we're not. in vintage we're in the, times? There was fuzzier back then, oh, wasn't I it? I see. And now it's, it's more overdriven. Okay. Like, well, you, let's you, say, uh, you don't you don't want that on the you know you want <laughs> I'm not entirely sure uh, th why that it sounds would be great though, man. Like that. It's very cool. I like it in its vintage mode. And the frequency boost, I think the idea is you, you know you find your do you find your frequency or is this just the amount of boost? Well, well let's, let's try it. find out. Let's find it. Hey, that's a cue. It's, that is, it's, yeah, it's it's the amount. It's sorry. It's the it's the point at which which frequency are you boosting as opposed to how much of a boost you're doing. So yeah, yeah, and then.
it, can it wow. be um, can it be a money money for nothing thing? Whatever. <laughs> That's a different oh, song. That was a different anyway, song. Anyway, so that's the Q Boost. The United from, States of whatever. Um, from Stone Deaf. I think there'll be some fans uh, for I that. I like that. Big, Man, big, hit. fat sounding hit. naughty pedal. I was going to say that's a good tune. I mean, that just one, came up it? with that. What a great that, riff that that's was. That's what you want a pedal to do. Exactly. Write a, a hit single. There you okay. Go. Well, these next two pedals from Catlin Bread are a kind of a, a, a nod to Richie Blackmore. Um, hey, apart from, you, you know, I'm a big uh, Deep Purple fan. Yeah. Uh, but I must admit, it, it's, it's, I've never <laughs> really deep dived into Richie Blackmore's sound. Um, you know, probably more familiar with what guitars he uses than, than amps and, and pedals and stuff. Yeah. But we have a pedal here which is kind of inspired by the circuit from an old reel to reel um, machine that he apparently used the preamp of to, to drive into his amps. And then um, this one here is a top boost, but um, based on an old. Um, John Hornby Skews kind of own brand top boost design that I guess perhaps, you know, that's a, a John Hornby Skews are an old um, UK distributor that have been around for a long time and, yeah. and would have absolutely made their own pedals back in the day. A bit like Dallas Arbiter with the fuzz face and all yeah. that kind of thing. Now, I mean, we're not running this into the Marshall. We're not playing in Strat. I am not him. Yeah, it's, um, uh, there is a <clears throat> bucket load yeah, of this is, volume coming out um, of this thing. Uh, and so we've had to turn the amp down a little bit here. So my sort of gut feeling is here, we may not, there may be better videos out there on these pedals. <laughs> I mean, um, we, we will definitely be coming. I can hear the keyboards going. Uh, yes, absolutely. Now, so we apologize in advance for this. So, but hey, uh, it's fun actually, for us. Uh, Deep Purple was the first ever gig that I went to on my own, without my basically without my parents taking me, was Deep Purple, Wembley Arena, was late 80s. And you're nine. <laughs> no, I, I remember being about 15, and it was wow, people okay. of my age may remember in the UK what you used to do is you used to buy a package coach tickets to go to gigs. So you, um, and I was supposed to go oh, with so a friend of mine. I was supposed to go with a friend of mine from school. I was at the bus stop, you know, where the coach was picking us up from, and he just didn't turn up. And there was like, you know, no mobile phone, no nothing. So I had the choice of, do I just go to a deep purple gig on a coach load of hairy people when I'm like 15, <laughs> 15 years old or whatever, or do I go home? So yeah. I just went anyway, and I got looked after by a load of old hippies, and it was awesome. I say looked after, I genuinely mean looked after. Yeah. Sort of, you know, <laughs> you're um, so pissed and, and, uh, you're and Richie Blackmore that night had a sparkly purple blazer and sparkly green trousers. I mean, it must he have been a, an epic, the John Law and all that stuff. It, I mean, it, it ridiculous. It must have been ridiculous. epic. And, and, and I do apologize in advance for this, because I'm not- 100 million percent. If, you go, if you've not ever deep dived into the old Deep, deep Purple, purple dive, uh, back catalog, um, some of all modern, I think, kind of funk rock, has its roots in some there's of the deep there, purple yeah. stuff. You know, there's some, there's some, anyway. I mean, I, I can play one thing that everybody <laughs> plays, <laughs> and everybody plays Here we go, both job. pedals together. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's the sound. It's so compressed and so, it's so fuzzy compressed. and so like about an amp just about to go like. Ah! I hate I'm playing smoke on the water. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, because this is one of those. And uh, in a minute we're doing shop. the uh, stairway to heaven drive. <laughs> by no, we're not really. You can <laughs> see the guys in the shop can hear <laughs> yeah. like they're going. And then we've that? got What's the uh, the Wonderwall uh, <laughs> machine. <The> Wonderwall. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go so one seeing, at a time, right? You're seeing most of the sort of drive tone is coming from the dream coat, which is the preamp pedal, and yeah. then the skewer is really, we're just using it to push that little harder. Dream um, coat, that's the purple dream coat then. It is Jason and the Technicolored dream coat. <laughs> it's, not that, it's not from that soundtrack, that's for sure. Mm.
It was Joseph, wasn't it? Joseph. I'm only thinking Jason because Jason Donovan was in. Yeah, who's Jason? He was the uh, 17th. Uh, yes, Jason. When I, I again, I went to see J Joseph and the Technical Dream Coat because I had a mate of mine that was in the that, that was in the show. Uh, and yes, and it was Jason Donovan played Joseph, and it was terrible. <laughs> but hey, come on. Problem is, Pete, you haven't, got, you haven't got the flares on. I haven't right. got the flares on. Okay, moving on. Yeah. I don't know I mean, how long I, these are still yeah. going to be available for, but there was like a limited edition set, and I'm sure, again, please. These have actually been quite popular, so I suspect the Catlin Bread own video, they've done a lot better than this one. <laughs> Anywho, moving oh, on. I've seen there's good pedals out there, so uh, good videos out there. Sometime in 2019, I remember sitting in this very room. Uh, with a blindfolded Rob Chapman and about a hundred overdrive pedals. Uh, yeah, you go and watch that video up there if you want to. Uh, and um, Rob had to pick his favourite, and I vaguely remember the uh, Fender Pugilist, the single uh, button version of this yeah. uh, one, much to everyone's surprise. And we also did a video on them when they first came out, which that video will be up here as well, you can go and have a look at that. And we were absolute. I was blown away by it, I remember. So let's see if it still stands up to the... Uh... Um, yes. Right. Well, here we go. I've got to be honest with you. Before we just Pete starts to play, I'm mm. deeply confused by this pedal. Not as confused. And the as manual well. isn't helping either. The manual is minuscule, um, and <laughs> even the website doesn't help me. So I apologise uh, if I don't really fully understand what the point of all these uh, different modes. If are. you only got on YouTube and watched about five or ten videos on it, might, maybe that would have worked. Maybe. Yeah. Who's okay. Got so got time for that. it is essentially two pugilists in one box. That bit in itself is easy enough to see. Yeah. Um, and it has this overall sort of master high and low EQ and this ability to blend the two if you're in certain modes. I'm deeply confused by this mute series and bypass mode, especially as the manual keeps talking about a parallel mode that I can't find anywhere in here either. Now, mute mode seems to suggest that when the pedal is off, it's off. Yeah. And, and then when the on. pedal is on, it mutes it. Mute it. Now, why would you do that? It doesn't make any sense. So, obviously, if I put distortion, you know, that comes on, and that's we really yeah, that's like fine, that but sound. But why, why would you? Why would you have a mute mode? I don't. I don't really understand. Um, yeah, that's a bit. That's a bit. Then I'm weird. sort of going. Then what I'm really going is surely you want to toggle between. Distortion A and B. I mean, unless you want both on at the same time. Fair well, enough. You, so you can do that. So let's say so yeah. here's distortion A. And let, okay. let's assume you'd set distortion A up as a as a rhythms. But now, and let's assume that I put distortion B with much more gain. I want to switch the distortion B, but I don't really understand how I'm supposed to do that unless I press both buttons, you know. Oh, that's I can press both buttons. Unless you use one side as a boost. What, like, so, like the... Like the clean, one is like okay. a... So one is a cl one is the drive, and the other one is a clean oh, kind of boost. So, or like, so you've got two drives in... Maybe that's what one of these modes is doing. <laughs> something then. Uh, okay so mute mode then is potentially is that mute when I hit B is it muting A somehow because it doesn't do anything it a, does it? this isn't doing anything anymore right okay but you've, okay, got, you've yeah, definitely yeah, got to be yeah. slightly careful not to turn A off as well because <laughs> then you haven't got a sound Wow. Okay, so when we're in the, the series mode, mm -hmm. you can definitely hear the, the two sets of controls doing stuff when they're both on. Okay, so that now there's yeah, at yeah, the same so time. You... 
You're kind of running um, one into the other. Yeah. Which I guess is nice. You get some tones there. And you've got this blend control as well. In fact, let me just turn the volumes down a bit. Let's turn both on. So no, okay, I tell a lie, that doesn't do anything. So maybe. That right, doesn't so that in mode. bypass mode, <laughs> it does it in that mode. <laughs> Um, it's a bit confusing. Difficult one to know what to, to, to sort of say on this. It's like just the, the, the underlying basic distortion effect is really nice. Yeah. And it's really affordable. You know, the, the, the standalone pugilist is like 70 80, quid yes, or 80 yeah, quid. Yeah, 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 this yeah. is 139 pounds. Wow. I just haven't really, I just, They're missing is it out either being there, too it? clever or has someone not really thought this through? Or do we just don't not get it? Oh yeah, oh, I think it's one of the are just so bad. It doesn't explain what it does. No, we're not getting that one. It's, uh, I think we just have done the Q boost, and that would have been it. Then we would have been laughing. It would have been the best wow. video ever. Well, uh, you know what? I'm just going to find a good sound, then Pete, and you can play us out, and we'll then we'll go to the zoo. So at I least mean, we're not yeah, that does. Because that's a good sound. It's ever confused. come across a straightforward distortion pedal that I can't make head nor tail out of what it's supposed to be doing. I can there hear the keyboards going right now, Lee. It sounds great, man. I mean, if you set it up so you get two overdrives in one pedal and you hit one side or you use the other with like, a boost or whatever, then there it is. But why would you have a mute switch on it? So you click it. Can you I mean, imagine it, is, is that it, in the key? It, it's my solo. Is it some <laughs> sort of kill switch sort of thing? You know, where you can't, it, it's not it, even it, it's it, not it, a it, latching it, switch. So you, no, it's very, there we are. Anyway, Moving so, on. Um, okay, the Zeus, this is, uh, okay, this is a nice and easy one, Zeus, all right? Zeus. Everybody has heard of TC, um, they're making some brilliant, brilliant affordable pedals at the moment. Well, they make everything from affordable through to, you know, professional yeah, yeah, yeah. pedals. Uh, this is the Zeus, uh, we're loving this new mini format that uh, TC have come up with. The top mounted jacks yeah. means you can get loads and loads together. They do a, a reverb, they've got a rat clone at the yeah. moment, and I'm sure you'll see more oh, coming more, out There'll this. be more coming. Uh, and the Zeus is its clone clone, so again, we've got um, Two, the, two modes, a regular and a fat mode, mm -hmm. and then drive volume and treble, which are basically your classic clon. And internally, controls. there is a, uh, a bypass, two bypass or, yes. or, or buffer bypass. This pedal was not out when we did the clon shootout, was it? I don't think so. No, it wasn't. Was it not? No, I don't think it I was. Think I think, it was. annoyingly, it came out about a month later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I don't think we've had the chance no. to do this in a sort of a clone hey, shootout hey, kind another, of another That's pedal. another video for us there. Yeah. Um, so, anywho, right. Uh, so let's just turn it on. And, you know, there are different schools of thought as to how you should use a clone, but we'll start off with the low drive, high volume, see what happens. Put a bit of gain in. Yeah, yeah. I think you need, it's just uh, JSS said that you need to, the gain needs to go well, in. He, on he was clone. controversial, wasn't he? Because Josh was say, saying if you use it in the setting that everyone's using it, yeah, it, doesn't it doesn't do, do anything. anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> There's proper germanium transistors in this one as well. Thank you. 
I'm a fan of a, a clon drive all the way up. Really? That's just me. Yeah, it's See, a I'm, si I'm sitting here going. I was in a you know, nine, three o'clock, four o'clock. The yeah. cheapest one. It's the simplest to use. You know how to get a tone out of it. Okay, it's clearly not got all the knobs and buttons that that's got, and it doesn't look as funky and crazy as that is, and it's maybe not got that kind of fuzzy vibe. But if you if you just want a here's a basic, you know, easy good easy. sounding easy drive pedal that you can fit loads I on agree. your board. Yeah, I do like that. It's no, know, absolutely. call me simple. Go on, call me simple. Simple. <laughs> Uh, but I, okay, I'm kind of, I don't, I don't think it's any bad. So here's all the way up. This is what. to um, mm -hmm. turn the preamp gain of your amp sort of three quarters of the way around and then we'll use this maybe in that sort of slightly more clean boost way. So here's... Yep, so it's Pete's amp, uh, and uh, here you might use it as just like a solo. I mean, that, that's yeah. going to sell by the bucket load no, absolutely. because it's 50 quid or something, yeah. or 55 Yeah, quid yeah, something. absolutely. 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 So there we are. All day long. Little trip down uh, <laughs> tails <laughs> from the pedal cabinet. Slightly more challenging video than I thought it was going to be, if I'm completely honest with you. Yeah. I thought, here comes one on drive pedals. We'll whiz through this one. It'll be easy. Oh, my goodness me. That wasn't easy. No, I mean, these, these, know. these weren't easy at all. I mean, uh, it, it's... I think you have to be able to, I don't know how you... Fender, that one. call me, explain. Yeah, please. we need, we need I, to I, hear. I don't really understand. We'll talk um, to someone. There we go. But, uh, Stone that was fun. TC, well done. Yeah, yeah that's, I think uh, pedals for stupid people. That yeah, was I the, like that, it. That was my favorite one, the Q Boost, man. Was it really? Yeah, I love that. I, think I, I thought like that the was Zeus. wicked. I like the Zeus. But hey, hey, right, onwards and upwards. I think we're going to have to call it a day now, Pete, because my brain can't take any more. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye-bye.